Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Jenny Jones. I want to first apologize. Um, my channel is more for business, right? So it's I'll look at tools the first time and do a quick review on should it make sense for your business or not. Um, this particular tool, I wanted to do that first quick video. Got a lot of heat for that. So I will try to give you guys an inside look at the tool. Um, I thought that AppSumo did a pretty good job of explaining to you how the actual tool worked, how it looked. What I wanted to do was see if it made sense for your business. And I kind of wanted to give you a little bit more insight on what the restrictions were and kind of explain that a little bit more. But since everybody wanted an inside look at the tool, again, I run a business, so I am not a just a reviewer. I review business tools to see if they actually work for your business and how you can actually make your money and your return back from the tool. But since I got a lot of slack for not showing inside of the tool, this is the inside of the tool. I don't do trials. I'll just either buy them and see if they work for my business and see how I can return my revenue or I just will return them. And if I if I bought it and I and if you see me doing a review on it, that means I kept it and I like it. I don't do reviews on tools that I return, right? So I don't do trials. So it's a little, this station's a little bit different. There's a lot of people reviewing LTDs. I'm just different. I'm a business first LTD purchaser. So I wanted to get that out of the way. And so let's get into the tool. Let's see what we got here in the tool. Now, what you're gonna see here in the tool is you're gonna see uh, what kind of theme do you want uh, when it comes to your videos, right? Do you wanna do a vlog theme? Do you wanna do a talk with the background noise? Um, the most important thing, and I don't want to make this video too long, I would go immediately into what is, what's in it for you, right? And so you're going to immediately go to the mood. What is it a happy mood? Is it emotional? Is it relaxing? Is it exciting? Most of the tools you see out there, your epidemics or your upbeats, those types of tools, they go for mood only, or they go for mood first, right? Um, and so this one, you go for your moods, but what you do is you generate the AI, the AI uh, background music from, depends on what the mode is. So let me give you an example. So right here, we'll say, hey, I need to do a video that only goes at least three minutes, right? So you can, what you do, and then you hit create. What it'll do, once you hit create, it goes out and the AI goes out and looks and puts tunes together to give you a um, beat that's happy they'll use a happy right because that's what we want to look for happy beats and we'll look for different tempo everything here is selected by default right they're going to give you everything by default it's already selected he says you know what i don't want because here's the fact they're going to give you as many beats as they can based off of all the defaults if you want it really really trimmed down then you can go hey give me a the acoustic or give me hip hop these are not selected because they don't have anything in that genre as far as happy orchestra or happy techno, right? I don't know how you could be happy playing techno, but you could. You could with techno pop, right? And so these different selections. So here, these are the most combinations they can come up with. So let's test that out, right? So this is, it's going to give you, by default, it's going to give you a three minute length, right? So anything you see over here is going to be 258 or it's going to be three minutes or right at three minutes, or maybe 305. So I want happy, let's go four minute length, right? And then let's create happy with all the defaults selected and let's go to create music. And so what you do is when you hit create music, it's now going, the AI is going out now. It's putting together all these different tunes. I think they said 15 million, 5 million or 15 million. I can't remember what they said on their website. You guys can look that up. I think they have a free trial. And it's going out and it's bringing you back. Now we changed it to four minutes. So everything that comes back, they're going to put together a combination of music that's going to give us at least 402, maybe 358, maybe 357, but it's going to give us close to a four minute length of what you're looking for. So I like that. I don't think any other tool, Epidemic or any of the other ones, Upbeat, they, they, they don't. You can't select by, actually you can, I think you can select by length on epidemic, but theirs is mostly mood based, right? Um, I think you can select by length. I, I can't really remember right now at this point, but I do like the fact that you can select by length here. You can do your, um, I think we were looking for instruments last time we do for four minute length. They do give us synthesized 
this time. I think that's what we we're looking at. Yeah, they give us they give us everything. We have for four minutes. We got a little something of everything. Remember, we did the three minutes. They didn't give us. I think synthesizer, and I think one of the other ones they didn't give us. But you can see that there from the different selections. So the AI goes out. It puts together all these combinations for you. So let's see what we got here. We got a pop. Let's just do a sample on that. Let's see if we like that. Oh, it's downloading this. Don't like that one. Again, I'm using my PC for this. My Mac is four times as fast, but I wanted to use my PC so I'd do the system sound and all that other stuff. Um, let's see what hip hop gives us for happy. All the music's gonna be a lot faster. So hopefully you guys can hear that. So I like that. So I will edit this music clip. So I'll take that. It's gonna drop it down into the timeline here. Now, as this is loading, let me tell you the reason why you have these somewhat quote unquote restrictions and or copyright because just like it went out and did a combination and put a combination together for me for a four minute length beat uh, that plays happy, someone else in Central America or someone way off on the West Coast, on the East Coast, Midwest may get the same combination, right? It's, there's 15 million combinations or five million, I can't remember. Someone may pull the same combination that I pulled. They pulled the four minute happy and they selected that particular beat. What happens is once you start playing the beat, right? You got the warm up here in the first key. It's warming up, right? Five, six, then it goes over here. But if I go here, I may select this. See, it gave me more on that second line. Here, I may select the bass here. Even though I'm highlighting these, it's gonna give me a different. It's gonna bring the bass in here a lot sooner. Once it gets there. See the bass picked up there. So, what I want to explain to you is I'm even though I'm putting in these different combinations, someone somewhere else may put in the exact same combination as me. That and then if I put it out as my own, I can call it Jenny's Beats. Jenny's Beat, um, you know, Jenny's Comeback Beat, right? I'll call it Jenny's Comeback Beat based off my first short video, which I don't want to get into that again, but I call it Jenny's Comeback Beat. Someone goes out and I, I put it out on YouTube or I put it out on a upbeat and I resell it as Jenny's Beat. Someone could come back along and create the same combination that I actually created and they call it something else. They'll call it, you know, Danny's one, two, right? Now we have a copyright clash, right? So if I registered, let's say I did that and I registered it with YouTube. There's an actual copyright clash now between me and Danny. Guess who's in the middle? Right. Sound Raw is in the middle of this copyright. So instead of me saying everybody can create their own beats from originality, when actually the AI is actually creating the beats for you, you can't just put your name on it. So that's what, but what makes it a creative content um, for you is you drop it over a video, you drop it over a podcast intro, you drop it over a background, music to your vlog. Now it becomes your original content, but you still don't you still don't have a license to that music because the AI generated it. But the reason why you can put it up on um, YouTube is because it's not going to get a copyright strike because that music is original and doesn't belong to anybody else. And it's not registered to belong to anybody else. That's why you can't take that sound and register it with YouTube because someone else could come back and register that same exact beat. And then now you have a copyright fight. Sound, sound Raw is in a big court battle, right? You got the whole Millie Vanilli thing going on. If you don't know who Millie Vanilli is, you can look it up on YouTube and you'll see what the problem is when you, you, you try to pass it off. So that's the big restriction. Other than that, I like the tool because I do a lot of, uh, I create a lot of content. And I love using original music. I think for the price that you have, and like I said in my earlier video, this is a winner because of, 
If someone came to me, let me give you the business case because I always do this. I'm a businessman first, so you understand that. I create my own content and I'm a content creator. I am not someone that just reviews tools. I review tools, again, so I can create them for my own use case. If a client came to me and says, hey, uh, I see here that you do background music over my videos or my infomercials. I said, yeah, actually, I do do that. And they said, well, I want something different. I don't want what everybody else has. And I says, oh, okay, so you want me to put a creative beat over it? That's going to be an uh, additional fee. And it says, yeah, I'll, and it says, how much is that? That's $100 extra if you want a creative beat that you're not going to hear anywhere else. Okay, yeah, I'll pay the $100 extra. Boom, that already paid for your $67, I think it's $67 to $65 purchase of SoundDraw. You've already made that back. That's where this comes into case. So again, I'm business first. I'm always going to try to show you how you can make money. So I'm a little bit different. Uh, so now if you can go back and remove your disappointments for my other video, but I already told you that was a quick video that I put together. So I don't know why we even got into that. So that's, that's your music. And then you hit download here and then you, you keep, you go save as and you save that beat. Then once you download it, takes a little bit longer than I would like for it to download, but I think what it's doing, it's going out and it's pulling those files and it's actually accumulating and putting them into a wave. So it does take a little bit longer. So you can do that if I wanted to. Let me just show you one other time because I want to give you a good use case of this, right? And then you can always find them in your keep, right? You can always, because I created some other beats. The ones I created off my first video was Turkey, Tokyo Night or what have you. And so they keep track of those. You can just come and you can edit them and rename the song and you can call it, hey, that's my intro beat or whatever. You can rename it there or you can just delete it there. So let me show you emotional. Let's go emotional and let's go, uh, let's go two minute, right? These are the million combinations that you can create. I don't want select tempo. I want select tempo. I want to use fast, slow, whatever. So this is a, this is a two minute and then it says, let's create the music for that one. And it's going to give you some samples. And what it's doing is it's going out again. Like I said earlier, it's it's, the, it's using AI to give you emotional beats. It's giving you all the templates of the tempo, the instrument, and the genre. Now it put together that music. So we saw here emotional here gives us two minutes, gives us one and a half. I mean, 1.58, 202. Two, so that's what it's doing, right? And you get a nice... Uh, lineup here of music that it found in that particular or you can go once you create more music it the AI goes back out and looks for more music for you okay so then we found let's use this acoustic uh, beat that we found here let's take a listen at that I want to give you your money's worth on this video some people like the quick videos I do those hey can I use it for my business should I purchase it I did that this is a more of a thorough walkthrough for you so this is a good one i like this i want to edit this music right hopefully you guys can hear this because i normally don't do system sounds but i think you guys can so see right here and i just wanted to go over this and as i kind of close out this video you see these blank spots in the back in the back end two it's not giving us anything on this track for this first uh key right and it's not giving us any bass and it's not giving us any bass in the second key either. So that's how it works. So that's the originality of what the AI put together for me. When I start plugging in these 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 uh, slots, hey, give me bass here in this and at 54 seconds in, give me bass, and I want you to give me a drum and bass here, right? So, so I can record it, right? I can record it out it, or I can record it with it, right? So I can take that out, put that in right? That's where they're creating. And that's why it never becomes the same. They never becomes the same song over your own created content, your own vlog, but it does become a song that can be easily duplicated if someone presses the right buttons, right? And say, and I think one of the other things I liked here was I have a two minute list. I want to take it to three minutes. All right. Um, and there you go. I took it to 2.30. Let me go one more here. Now it's at 2.44. That's the length give you. This I can change the beats per minute, right? Again, this is where the 15 million or 5 million, I can't go, you have to look at it. That's where the 15 to 5 million different uh, combinations come from. Beats per minute, 
you know, um, that changes, the instruments changes. What is the lead? I don't want good. I want guitar. I don't want synthesis two. I want a synthesis three. I don't want a bass two. I want a bass three. Look at all the different combinations and then you apply it and you change it there. Right. I don't want to be in that key. I want it to be a little bit higher. I want it to be, you know, in the key of C. I want it to be in the key of D. I want it to be a little bit lower. I go key three here. Right. And then you can change the volume here. You can have higher bass, lower backing. And a lot of people were saying, hey, is this the same as Film Pro? I think it's called Film Pro. Film Pro is a little bit different. Film Pro, you can actually play a video and Film Pro will actually go in and you can change the dramatics of the song as the video plays along. So that's a whole different tool. This is not upbeat. Upbeat, just, you're just downloading beats that somebody already put together. You take this and you drop a couple of sound effects over it and you mix it up. You really do have a unique beat, but you still can't come out and say that's your song, right? Um, so that's the reason why they don't like you to mix them. Um, so that's the reason why I wanted to give you the best walkthrough I could give you, um, to make up for the other one. And then you, of course you hit download, I had a download for you. So you can actually see what that looks like. And, um, and see, to me, it takes a little bit longer because I think it's going out and it's looking for the actual, uh, beats that it found and to put together now it's compiling them and it's actually it, it is putting them into a WAV file that once it's ready you can just download it um, you could do millions of beats with this you can create so many different beats with this right and then once you hit save or save save ads it's going to be right here in your keep so this particular beat we call it acoustic beat I'm going to call save right I'm going to hit it there we're already at 99% download. It is down. already downloaded to my um, to my system here. I'm on a slow connection here. I think my wife or the kids are on the internet. Anyway, so it's all go there. We got it all saved. Now it's all ready, right? You can share it if you want. I think that was Acoustic Beats is what we did. We can go here. We can look at Keep. Let's take a look at it. Acoustic Beats, it's right there. All right, so that is what we have. That's what we have. So that's my walkthrough of this. Again, I own all my tools. If I, I'm not doing a review on it, if I don't own it, or if I didn't keep it, right? So I just, but I knew some people were asking about it, and I think you can switch between um, languages here as well. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this version of the walkthrough this is probably the most detailed walkthrough that i've ever done um but i didn't i don't like to get beat up about things that if people don't understand why i leave so that's a short one if you if you should make the business decision this is a longer one this one kind of gives you some of the background as i understand it of how the strikes may work against you when it comes to copyright that's how i read it it can be a little bit different i read it that's the way i read it and i was looking at the responses from AppSumo. That's the way I understand the language. That's the way I understand the, uh, the, the license. Now you can use it anyway. You can use it on Facebook. You can on YouTube and all that, but you just can't go and say, hey, that's my music I created. You can't do that, right? Um, you can't claim it as your own. They won't allow you to do that because you can run into a copyright fight. And that's, that's what I was basically saying. So hopefully that makes sense. Listen, hey, have a good day. Um, thank you guys for being critical. And I hopefully I delivered on this one. Hope all is going well. You guys take care. Have a good one. Hey, subscribe. Come back. I'm going to have more now that I know what you guys are looking for. Hope all is going well. Take care. Goodbye for now.